We are back again in Westview as we see the return of Agatha in her new show, Agatha All Along. There will be spoilers in this so come back after having watched it. And for the first two episodes, my thoughts are well mixed. It's hard to explain why, but I went in the show with no expectations and I got what I expected really. But at the same time, like it also feels like I didn't get what I expected. It, it's confusing. The whole thing is very confusing. But at the same time, you can't expect anything too big from the first episodes, otherwise you will end up with another secret invasion in our hands and nobody wants that. You're just Joking. Not another one? Yes, I'm looking at you, Marvel. Why did you kill Maria Hill in the first episode of your show? Now, putting that aside, the whole concept behind Disney Plus shows seems to confuse me now because in some cases we end up with multiverse shattering timeline hopping mind-blowing events like the loki show but then there's also shows with little to no stakes happening like echo what is the point of the shows if the shows don't have the same amount of stakes this makes it harder for audiences to judge really how excited they should be for a show because this show has all the potential to go down the insane marvel route with mephisto and wonder resurrecting and all that but at the same time it feels like a show that's just grounded and it's just agatha walking down the yellow brick road but we'll get to that later on now it's teased to be a sequel for wonder vision and it definitely is but does that mean it will be just as good well the answer to that we just have to wait and find out the first episode is definitely a sequel for one division with agatha living out her life as agnes a police officer uncovering the mysterious death of a woman who they make it out to be wonder but it's actually probably the physical embodiment of the dark hold she is then awakened from the spell by a mysterious teen who is almost definitely either billy maximoff mephisto or her long lost sacrificed son okay i'm sorry for bringing up mephisto but it's bound to happen at some point but overall this episode was was just meh like it wasn't really exciting enough to get me hyped so it sits around a 6 out of 10 for me marvel almost definitely knew that this wouldn't create hype so they dropped a second episode and all that i will say is that this is miles better in this episode we see agatha assemble her coven of chaos so that she can walk down the witch's road and she can regain her powers we also see the teen mention his name but it's censored and also his entire life history but by the way his mouth is moving it does seem as though he's saying billy maximoff what one can dream the musical aspect of the show is well integrated as well and unlike the marvels the music is actually necessary since traditionally in pop culture media witches do sing the incantations like in macbeth but captain marvel singing wasn't really needed the return of one division characters like herb was just so good and the episode ends right at the point where i want to know what's happening next which i guess is the benefit of having no hype for the show and this episode gets an 8 out of 10 subscribe and comment below your thoughts on the first two episodes so far